Hello and welcome back to my magical chamber. I am the Soul Enchantress. Okay, so today's video is about how when things are going wrong in your life and doing spell work or trying to create enchantments or play with energy yourself can actually make your situation worse. Okay, firstly, before I get started, I want to actually let you know that as with all the videos that I create, I don't have a schedule of any kind. It is what I am guided to create. But the reason for this video is actually, again, yes, I am so strongly guided to create, but it is also because of quite a few scenarios and situations that have happened with my clients over the past couple of weeks, as well as um, a few people that have actually reached out to me on um, Instagram, um, asking for help with some things that have gone wrong. So this is a video about um, how when you try to take action, when you are at a low point in your life and you are trying to manipulate energy to change an outcome or you are taking a, a spell from a book or you are listening to um, a video that tells you how to do um, a spell or uh, make things better and then you follow those instructions and you find that your situation actually gets worse okay so i'm going to let you know why this happens and also i want to let you know something about playing with energy and about spell work about magic and about our manifestation okay now this is coming from a space of true caring from my heart Okay, so it is not from a space of arrogance. It is not from a space of um, uh, knowing it all or it is not from a space of wanting you not to be empowered. But it is coming from a space of true caring. Okay, so I am someone that firmly believes that if you want a professional result in anything, you need to hire a professional. And a professional is someone who has acquired knowledge, wisdom and the skills to do something because of either a gift or a talent they possess and or studies that they have done. But usually for me, it is usually a gift that someone possesses that they have then um, made more powerful by practice and by study. Okay, so the reason I'm saying that is that I've said this in another video in this world of do it yourself and wanting to do everything if they can do it i can do it mentality which i actually completely disagree with i know that is what society dictates today but i'm telling you right now that it's actually false information that is being put into people's heads and it causes so much damage and a lot of the time i'm helping people to fix the damage caused by this you know distorted version of if they can do it, you can do it. No, every soul, which is what you are, you have your own purpose. You have your own innate skills. You have your own wisdom that you carry with you and that you come to experience. So to think that you can do exactly the same as someone else, and thinking that you know just because you can swim, you can be a champion swimmer. No, it is not your calling to be a champion swimmer. In this lifetime just because your friend is it doesn't work that way and it goes the same for magic a truly powerful sorceress or a truly powerful um, magical practitioner the work they do for others and the work they do for themselves is actually on a completely different plane, dimension and vibratory level than someone who is a novice or someone who practices every now and again or someone who is just trying to do something from a book. Okay, so 
if magic is not your profession and practice and you have very powerful, palpable and successful track record of results of doing work for yourself and others, Leave it to someone who knows what they're doing because otherwise it is like a child playing with matches and starting a fire they cannot control, okay? As I said to you, this is coming from a place of true caring because I would rather help you to improve and grow than to actually undo mistakes that you've actually caused for yourself. Okay, now, that's my little mothering speech for now. All right, so now what um, I want to cover is the reason for me saying all of that is to show you that magic, just like anything else, um, spell casting, um, conjuring, um, root work, whatever form it takes, if is not to be played with, is not a band-aid they are innate and just sacred skills that are spiritual gifts that people have um, souls have actually been given and um, will magnify and make more powerful and for example, like shamans and sorceresses, they are given those skills to help humanity and to help others because that is their calling. So it is not for everyone to play with, even though I know that it is um, the in thing to do right now. But, you know, it's, it's, it's silly. Um, but, okay. So the reason that a lot of the time that if you try to do work on yourself when you are actually feeling low, when you are feeling sad, depressed, angry, jealous, helpless, you need money, you need, um, you feel desperate and lonely, you want uh, 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 some kind of a romantic partner, you, um, you feel scared and depressed, you don't want to leave the house, so you want protection, you want... Um, you are getting bullied, so therefore you want to be more empowering and confident. Whatever the case may be, if you are feeling any of those things or any kind of emotion or um, mental uh, thought patterns of lack, negativity, toxic, toxicity, or you feel like there's been a curse or a hex placed on you, whatever it is, if you are in that place and you are not a professional um, energy uh, manipulator. Um, I'm using um, layman's terms instead of actually calling someone a sorceress or or um, a powerful uh, magician. So if you are not and you try to fix it, what you're actually doing is if you don't know how to get rid of those uh, emotions and mental thought patterns in a second before you start manipulating with energy what you're actually doing is putting an intention out to the universe that is extremely powerful asking for more of the same because your vibration is low and you are creating energetic change using that low vibration, you are in fact attracting that same vibration. So that is why if you are struggling for money and you do a, a, a spell for money for yourself or your family and you find that all of a sudden even the money that you were expecting goes up, off or you cannot attract it or the job you were waiting to get doesn't pan out or... Um, all of a sudden unseen bills come in it's because you've actually put in to the multiverse to bring you back more of that lower vibration of lack of money and the same thing will happen if you're looking for a romantic partner if you're feeling lonely sad and desperate and you do a spell to attract someone you will only be attracting more um heart-wrenching times of feeling lonely 
if you are being bullied and you you are trying to do spell work to try and become confident and strong you are only going to attract more bullying if you are angry and jealous and you cast a spell for your anger to dissipate and for peace to reign all you're going to do is bring about more opportunities for more anger and more extreme jealousy and definitely not peace so what I'm trying to get at is if you need help ask for it but ask from someone who can help and please do not cast spells from books. Do not watch videos on how to cast a spell because most people who actually know what they're doing don't actually uh, broadcast exactly how to do that because that is like broadcasting a video for kids on how to uh, create a, a, a fire and um, you know use t uh, fire torches to to blow um, a fire you know for entertainment but if you don't know how to protect yourself and if you don't know how to actually um, use those fire torches you're actually going to get singed and burnt so a fire breather is not going to create a video on fire breathing for novices um, I am not blaming anyone I am not uh, trying to belittle anyone or and I'm not trying to say that for anything from a judgmental perspective I'm purely saying what I want to say because these videos are for my clients and I want to help you to grow and and create a beautiful and joyous life without you self-sabotaging yourself so I hope that this has made sense and I hope that my, um, my words have resonated somewhere within you. And if you would like to work with me, I would love to hear from you. Um, the easiest way to contact me is through my website, soulenchantress.com. And I wish you a beautiful new moon and joyous blessings.